Hey guys, it's G for G's Loft, and we are at Kenny White's uh, Youngbird Coop. Just gonna let some out. Let about 12 out. We got some nice young birds. Notice that he didn't pull the whole thing out. It's probably like a foot in between the trap and the, the loft. Let out 12 and I'll call him in five minutes and let out another 12. That's, it. That's how I do it. They'll go out. And if they don't leave that cage, no big deal. I'll still call them in. But they should. Oh, Bill, he's gonna kick my butt this year. I can tell that. Hey, taking real good care of him. Look, look at them, look. These are the babies, he's got them locked out here. This way the, bit, the old ones won't pick on them. They're pretty tame. He babies them, I don't. I don't baby my pigeons like he does. Yeah, they look good. Oh yeah. Can't let them all out. It's a nice area to fly though. That is nice. The water is right over that camper. The water is just to the right of the camper, behind those trees. And about four miles down there is Jimmy Costa. Oh, those guys, those guys do good at the young birds. That's all they like to fly is young birds, right? Yeah. Do you feed barley? No. No barley? No. At all? No. European Supreme. That's it. That's it. Nothing fancy. I already had the Dino, so I don't have to worry about crying this year. If I do bad, I do bad. I won't have an excuse if I do bad. I already had the Dino. All the ugly ones I gave to somebody. I can them. The ones I didn't like. Yeah. That's why they look happily decent. I don't like going to the coop and seeing a bunch of idiots in there. So I get rid of them so I can look at the good ones. That's it. Oh, here it is, right up here. That's just a red tail. I ain't got a problem. Oh, he's just cruising away. And this week I'll pull that cage further away, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> They've already been out like three, three days already. I let out a bunch of them. I'm just making them feel comfortable being out. That chucker right there looks like he's been out before. He wants to get out. He's gonna call him in, guys. Call him in. 
call him in and then I'll let him back out. This is how it should be. See that? You always have one that does it. He's in there. I'll do it again. That's all. That little bit of food. Let them come out again. I do the same exact thing. See how good they are? You gotta make them. You can't feel bad for a pigeon. Nope. They don't feel bad about you. <clears throat> sure not. They'll come out once I realize no more food now. So when do you cut the, the ninth and tenth? <laughs> I don't know, when I start having everybody else cutting them. Usually about uh first week of April. And then I pull them the second week of April. So by the end of May, we're flying around. But right now they can't really fly too good. The early ones, it the later ones I didn't even cut the ninth or tenth. Yeah, I do the same thing. Oh yeah, but I think it's the best way to do it. A hawk comes down, you don't lose, you don't lose everyone. Oh come on, once I realize I'm not throwing no food, they'll be coming out. Nice reds. They want to go into the... Oh, you ring that bell. They can hear it if they're 200 yards away. I don't whistle, I just ring the bell. They pretty well know what that means. And that's for both coops, right? The guy that started me off from pigeons, Bill Horner. I told him, hey, guess what? I'll give you a coop and I'll throw a bunch of young ones in there for you. He'll do all right. I know he'll do okay. Oh, yeah. It's new to him. He puts more time into him. I don't put the time into him like he does. But put enough time in, but not like he does. <clears throat> See how fast they come in when I ring the bell? Oh yeah, that's how you should have them. I don't care if they don't even fly up. If, if they sit in that cage, fine. But just having the sides open, you know, yep. that's just enough. So you do it like this and then you take out the... Tra uh, the I won't take that cage off until uh, end of May. End of May. I'll let them out. Yeah. In another two weeks, I'll just let them all come out. But they, that cage doesn't come off that board until the end of May. Not until they stop flying around. Mm -hmm. They feel protected in there. Hey, they look better on a, dry, on a day that's nice and dry. When it's 
raining out, boy. They look awful. Oh, yeah. They got, they got nice shine to <coughs> them. See, look at them. See the ninth and tenth. You can see them? Yeah. Coming out. They look like they're about two and a half inches. Yep. Come on. I don't want these walls going in. Do you think feeding barley for young birds is uh do you have an advantage or a disadvantage? I don't know, I never use it. Everybody's different. Yeah, that's Everybody's for sure. Different. Do you use it on the old birds? I don't even use it at all. There you go guys, he doesn't use it at all. And there's guys that use it and do well with it. So that goes to show that barley theory. You can use it or you don't need to use it. And the birds will do the same thing. medication at all? Only when they need it. Only when they need it. And before I uh, raise them, I'll do it. When do you like to vaccinate the birds? In May. That's in May. When I'm all done uh, breeding young ones. In May. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it another week. Seems like everybody else is doing it now, so I might as well keep up with everybody else. Normally in the middle of May, end of May. And the most fun thing, I got the Dino already. I'm pretty well ahead. <coughs> So guys, the birds that are that are in this coop is yeah, the both of you are reds. The guy likes reds, so I give him a bunch of them. Oh, I love the reds too. For years, some good ones. For years, I wanted to get my hands on some reds. Finally, I did. This guy started off. Kenny, when he was a young boy. I was, I was uh, 1972. I was 15. 15 years old. And now Kenny I is beat, helping I him out. Races. I won three races with the pigeons he gave me out of the seven club races. Your first year? Yeah. Your first year. These yeah. freaking crows. Get out of here. Come on. Call them in. What is that out of? Uh, I 
that one. She'll go in. Oh, she don't got her uh, ninth and tenth cut. No. Wait, baby. She won't go far. There she goes. Oh, she's gonna go in. And she's in. Wow, like that's a smart one. See, the ones you don't want to let out is the one that went in. I didn't think that. No, that was a convention bird. Well, now she been out. Wow, surprise me. So this guy started him off, and now he's starting him off with some birds. Got some great birds in here, guys. How many convention birds you got in there? A lot? Well, about 11. I only want a couple more to sit. This way, when I lose them, I can tell the guys I lost them, they can replace them. Because I don't want many. I want to fly my birds. Right. If I can't win with four or five in a ring, I can't have a good bird there. Why would I want a coop for them? Right. I want to race my birds, not anybody else. Two more times I'm out of here. Yeah. They went quick. Oh, yeah. Do it every year, so I gotta know something. For sure. Probably uh, a couple more days, I'll pull that way out. Chocolate on top, some Stiger, Southern Rhode Island. Yeah. Chocolate on top. It's pretty nice. I'm going in too fast. I guess they're a little too hungry today. Oh, yeah. They have a pretty car in the wild. Guys, this is it. Can you wait, young birds? This is G. Hope you guys enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't. There'll be a lot more of this coming. And um, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below any questions. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys.